Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 70 with me Craig Barton. Now I'm being a bit indulgent here with this week's selection of uh, Resource of the Week because Maths Taboo was an activity that I actually used in my observation lesson um, in my first ever interview for my first ever maths job 10 years ago. Um, and I absolutely loved it. As soon as I first saw this activity, I thought this is right up my street because it's one of those activities that's not only fun and engaging, I mean, the kids absolutely love it, but that's no good unless it's mathematically useful to them. And this one certainly is. There's a lot more going on underneath the surface with this game. So when I saw that it had been remixed by MBEFC into an absolutely wonderful resource, I just had to include it as my resource of the week selection. So uh, here we go on the new uh, new look Tez resource page. Absolutely wonderful. We get a nice little preview um, of the resource and we can download uh, the file and it is a maths PowerPoint. So if I just crack this PowerPoint open, it looks like this. Now there's 66 slides going on here and that's actually 64 mathematical taboo cards, which is fantastic. Uh, slide two has a nice little uh, hyperlinked thing here so you can flick from, uh, from all your different questions. But if I just show you um, how this works, um, it, I tell you, if you've never played Taboo, then you've never lived. It's an absolutely ideal uh, board game, fun for all the family. Um, but with a math little spin on it, if anything, it gets even better. So here's how it works. Uh, whoever's go it is, uh, in this case, would have to try and describe the word cube, but they wouldn't be allowed to say those four Taboo words. So in this case, side six, dice, and same. So they'd have to think how they're going to describe that. So maybe students might go for something like it's three-dimensional, um, it's got, what could they say, maybe, uh, oh, I couldn't say six, flipping it, that was no good. Maybe uh, eight vertices, they could say 3D square, something along those lines. And you can see straight away, it immediately gets the students thinking about the properties, in this case of the shape, but in other examples I'll show you, the actual meanings of the words. So uh, in this one here, we've got hexagon, but of six is ruled out, sides is word that ruled out, shape is ruled out, and bees is ruled out of the mix there. Uh, then we get things like reflection, can't say mirror, opposite image, or symmetry. So if you just think yourself how on earth you describe these, it's not easy at all, and it's really, really challenging for the students, but, but particularly fun as well. So if I just share with you how I've used this um, in the past, whilst we just uh, flick through a few more of these, um, it makes a great little starter activity. So say, for example, you were doing angles uh, with any class, probably in secondary school. Uh, they'd all have met acute, obtuse, reflex, and all that kind of stuff before. But of course, you need to recap to make sure they actually understand what they mean. So this is quite a nice way of doing that. Just uh, either get a student up to the front to try and describe it to the whole class, or perhaps better still, get their students in groups of two or three, get one of them doing the describing and the other trying to trying to guess it. And it really hammers home uh, the, the properties of the words that they're trying to describe. But here's my absolute favourite thing to do with, with Maths Taboo, and that's to get the kids uh, creating their own ones. So say, for example, you've, you've done this uh, starter activity on, on angles and you, the kids have tried to describe acute. Then give them a whole other host of words that are associated with angles. So I'm thinking like angle measure. I'm thinking obtuse, reflex, degrees, um, if it's bearings, north, clockwise, all that kind of stuff. Give them the words and let them create their own taboo cards. Let them create... Um, a card that has four key words that if you can't say them, it's going to make it incredibly difficult for someone else to try and explain it. And just think of the high level thinking skills involved there. Firstly, the kids have got to know what the words mean themselves. Then it's getting the whole mathematical literacy in there in terms of thinking of related words. But then that real high order stuff is thinking of the most important related words that make it very difficult to, to explain without saying them. And then before you know it, you've got a whole set of, of extra taboo cards to use which you can then swap with other groups get them using to describe them and so on and it's just a really fun engaging activity and as i say i use it either for revision um, or i use it to uh, introduce a topic or it's nice to recap a topic or it's nice just to break things up a little bit and believe me i'm not a fan of just kind of doing games and quirky things for the sake of doing it i'll only do it if it's kind of mathematically useful to the kids and i absolutely adore this i, I find this really really beneficial for getting the kids talking to each other communicating describing things and for that all important mathematical literacy as well so hope you find that useful there it is uh, maths taboo uh, give that a go download it and pop back onto the site and, and share your thoughts with that and i shall return with a fresh brand new resource of the week next week take care and bye for now